Hey, hello and welcome to Dave tripping again, but Dave's not here, it's me. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm here in spirit. And uh, we did this apartment tour over here. My house, like two years ago maybe, I think, was about two years ago. Yeah, about that. Um, and uh, I didn't have anything really, because I'd only just moved in, like a table and a futon. So I've uh, fully furnished the place now. It's two years worth of uh, things, and we really think that you'd like to kind of see that. Um, obviously, we both work for the, the Board of Education here in our, in our town. Um, it's a really chilled out kind of life. Um, right now is the smell of burning. Uh, <laughs> really so, chilled out smell yeah, of burning. Has, uh, <laughs> has its pros and cons and uh, but yeah we, we really think you'd enjoy seeing my new things so yeah let's go. Okay let's go. Okay. Can you remember what house I live in? Props in the comments if you can. It's good. Uh, one of the things I can talk about as we follow Dean here into the house is because we live in the countryside, we're talking crazy inexpensive rent. We'll go through some of those numbers as we uh, progress along here. Okay. And this is my, my Genkan area. So if you want to follow me in there. Dean went for the top floor. He's top floor. Okay. Top shelf. Top shelf. Top, top shelf. shelf living. That's right. So yeah, very Japanese. Going to take my shoes off here. Point them away from the door because you're pointing the, the the dirtiness away from the door, right? Right. So, okay. Uh, still have my golden chicken from the last video. That was here before. He's still there. Yeah, he's there. Oh, okay. I didn't realize you had yeah, it then. He's still there. From a uh, from a good relationship at work, right? Yes. We don't want to show you that because it's got my address on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then I also have like this cool good luck charm from Thailand. Uh, Taiwan, sorry. Taiwan. Yeah. And this is when I tried some like a unagi cola. So kind of this area, I just kind of look at like, it's like my memory thing, fun things I did. So yeah, I'm sure people do that in their own homes and stuff like, I don't know if you do it, but. Yeah, I got a few. Yeah, so yeah, that's really cool. But <laughs> yeah, as Dave said, I'm on the, I'm on the top floor. So uh, yeah, let's, let's go. And unagi cola, for anybody who's wondering, that is what you think it is. That's eel it's cola. It's eel cola. How crazy. Sugary, salty, and pretty damn disgusting. <laughs> okay. Coming up. Okay. And this is my main main living area. Plus yeah, Dave's yeah. tripod. Yeah, and <laughs> tripod. And it was, uh, it was renovated when you first got in here, right? Yes. Uh, it had like a all new like double glazing windows, the structures of the house were redone and everything, so. Oh, that, that much. Yeah, yeah, because it was like, uh, it's not an old, it's not an old apartment building, as you can probably see from the outside, but um, it was a, it was a, it was a, there's kind of a few, a few things, sorry, that needed, that needed kind of like uh, updating, I guess, is what the company told me anyway, so. Right. Yeah, uh, one of the reasons why I chose this place is because it has an amazing view. So as you can see, we're lucky enough to be around like the plum plum blossom season. So as you can see there, I'll open the door. Yeah, you want to go on out? We'll just like we'll take them out for the full balcony tour. I mean, it's a bit dirty, so don't look on the floor. But okay, yeah, avert your that. eyes, avert the camera, I guess. Yeah. So this is like an awesome view. I really like I like coming out here sometimes and just watching the watching the sunset over the mountain over there. Man, that is that is beautiful tonight. Yeah. So Look at it's that. really really beautiful. So I like it a lot. So I do envy your second floorness. Yeah, yeah, no, and I paid a kind of a little bit extra as well, a bit like yourself on yeah. your place, like to have the apartment where I don't have anyone on the right hand side. Oh right, the corner so apartment. I, yeah, I got yes. the corner apartment. So yeah. And I just use this place to hang out my laundry and uh, my, my bonsai tree goes there. So it's pretty unremarkable. Maybe in the summer, I keep saying it now for like two years. Oh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll get a barbecue out here. and We should just get so, a couple of chairs. Yeah, just we a couple some of like, deck out chairs and stuff. So yeah, it's definitely on my list to, to add some like garden furniture for my, <laughs> for my little like, you know. So. Oh man, and this temperature now, this is it's perfect. Beautiful. This yeah, would be so good. Really, really nice. So. But yeah, I mean, you can't really beat a view like that, I don't think. No, you can't. Yeah, man, couple of beers out here with the plum blossoms. And they stay a long time, right? Yeah, I yep. think it's around like, uh, I mean, you can correct me in the comments, but I think it's like five weeks. 
Yes, correct us if we're wrong. Yeah, probably wrong. I'm no, was it horticologist or? Horticologist? Is it something like that? That was pretty good. I think you got it. Botanist? 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 Again, correct us in the comments. Let us know. But yeah, then inside, I think maybe the biggest thing that really kind of like, uh, you know, it's different from the first time maybe. It's like my entertainment. I finally like upgraded and got myself like a TV. I got myself like the game system as well. Uh, I got myself like a, a sound, like a, a sound bar as well. So it's all like surround sound, which is really cool. Like you can tell, you know, get that direct hire job because you earn, you know, good money. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, this yeah. is true. Yeah. That's true. Because man, it's crazy. Those sound bars, eh? The sound oh, yeah, they put out. Especially like uh, in this room as well. Like it really does feel like completely kind of sound or surround sound. So yeah, like that. this is obviously my favorite area. I just chill out on the couch there where I chill out in like my, my rocking chair. So yeah, and uh, I remember last time, I don't think we showed you this room because it literally was just a room. Right. So the big reveal. Big reveal. The big reveal. So Much sorry, I don't actually have a working light in here at the moment. So oh, we, got, we got window light. Yeah, that's cool. So that's it looks it looks totally fine. So this is like our nerd room. Nerd room. So like we play like uh, the D&D here. We all like some of the ALTs in the city. We all kind of gather around every other Saturday or Friday night. And uh, yeah, obviously Dave plays as well. And uh, yes, yeah, thumbs up for the D&D. If you like D&D, hit the like button. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we, we play D&D and that's really fun. Uh, a lot of the guys are married and got kids. So I always felt, I thought it was it's quite convenient for them to just come over and chill out. And uh, yeah, I think we've got like a nice little setup there. You can see some of the maps and stuff on the floor. We also play magic as well, which is, you know, insanely nerdy. <laughs> so. I, yeah. It is, but uh, like you were saying too, you can. Uh, well, why don't you tell out the window? Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, also, like I'm kind of a, a little bit sad. I don't come in this room very often because uh, it has got an amazing view. Like I love this right by the the, the plum blossom trees. So uh, in the summer, they um, they kind of emit that really nice sakura smell. Mm. So yeah, it's really kind of a shame I don't actually come here very often, like or this room anyway. So yeah. I, yeah, but yeah, I like this room just for its like functionality. It's uh, it's really good. It's not many people can probably say they're paying like dirt cheap rent and they get a, a basically a man cave kind of thing, right? Yeah. So yeah, it's uh, good stuff. Good, it's good stuff. stuff. And yeah. down here, oh yeah, Some like he was maps. saying, we got all the D and D maps yeah. for and all I, you I, for I all like you fans sure. of the D and D. And then. Whew, Flying around here, yeah, we got the there. magic I cards. I took like some of Dave's. Dave likes whiteboards. I don't know why. So I do. If I, uh, I also went and bought myself like a whiteboard. So if I have like anything that I'm like, oh, that's a good idea, or anything like in terms of classes and stuff. We both teach at elementary school, so I just whack down the ideas there, and uh, I come here to like study Japanese as well as do D and D. So this would be a this, great yeah, study. Yeah, room. so I could just sit in the, sit in the chair and study my Japanese. So you're also very welcome to join me anytime. Yeah, thank so, you. Yeah, I yeah, didn't yeah, even yeah. think of that. Great yeah. study room. Yeah, it's really good for studying. So yeah. Pe people were pissed last time we didn't thoroughly cover the bathroom. Shall we do that next? Oh yeah, they were pissed we didn't show the toilet, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's, let's go into the bathroom then. Where the magic happens. Or should we say- The on. dark magic. Yes, or should we say, you know, the unmentionables. Yes. So yeah, this is my bathroom. <laughs> Pretty standard. Uh, Classic Japanese separation of toilet and state. Yeah. Yeah. You can see there you've got like the, the bidet. So, uh, or the bidet, sorry, I think it's called. The, the bidet. bidet. And uh, yeah, you've got like the, the girl version and the guy version there. Quite clearly number, uh, quite clearly colored. Your pink and your blues. So if you need to spray out your ass or spray out your girly parts, then that's fine. <laughs> so, yeah. This is my bathroom again. Dave mentioned like the separation. Um, yeah, I think like for shower size, it's pretty pretty big. I think actually. Go stand in there, Dean. Show the yeah. people for scale. So there you go. Yeah, look so at that. that. It's pretty. This man, it's got good space. Pretty big. I mean, I'm I'm six foot, so it's like well above six foot. So 
Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, man, that's something that killed me when I first arrived. For anybody who's watching this, you've probably seen a lot of Leo Palace tours. Yeah. yeah. And Leo Palace has murderously small showers. This is also really cool as well. Like, uh, I can uh, adjust the temperature if it's too cold or anything, and then my, my house will speak. So. So, it's okay, kind of cool, yeah. right? So. Yeah. Speak house. Speak house. The first time like I saw that, it like, scared the shit out of me because someone was in the bathroom and obviously they were taking a shower and it wasn't hot enough. Yeah. So the voice comes out of there and it also comes out by my kitchen, you'll see in a minute. And I'm sitting in the I'm sitting on the sofa and I'm like, oh fuck yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that was that was kinda weird. This is like my, my mirror area, I really like this. It has like a really, really deep sink, um, which is pain in the butt to clean, but it's actually, you know, I really like it. Um also like it has like a really really nice kind of light like me and Dave have we've come in here before where we're like you know we're washing our hands or whatever and they were like damn we look good in this mirror we call this like the mirror mirror on the wall right truly yeah so it really it's incredibly like the flattering most, the most flattering mirror I think I've ever seen <laughs> so yeah we call this like the model mirror so yes. I really really like this yeah and then I just like say have loads of space to like put all of my my like a uh, moisturizer and stuff and <laughs> like my moisturizer <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, my, my hair stuff and my contact lenses so it's like plenty of stuff like um in england we have like um we have either heated towel racks or we have like um an airing cupboard an airing cupboard is just like a heated room where you would go and put your towels but in japan we don't have that so i keep my towels under here along with like you know hair dryers and Oh yeah. Also like my, my toiletries bag and stuff for when I need to travel. So I have got plenty of space. Did you, uh, one thing that's maybe people be curious about, yeah. did you furnish that there? Um, did you buy that? I did. Okay. I did buy that, yes. Uh, when I came here, it was literally just this right. uh, fixture, not even, the, not even the pipe. So it is a little bit of a cost, but that's not much. No, I, mean, I think it's, this, uh, yeah. I mean, this is like a 4.2 kilogram one. It's actually quite small. I think yours is bigger. Yeah, but um, a little, maybe. Uh, so this is quite small, but you know, for a guy that's living by himself, right. that does washing once a week, it's more than enough. And I think it cost me like maybe 180 bucks. Okay, so not it's like minimal. That's and, a thing uh, people, people say about like, uh, what is it? Um, Leo Palace are like, oh, but it includes everything. Yeah, but, but they even usually, like outdated appliances, they've been used by like 50 other people. You go inside, it's like covered in other people's lint where they don't clean the lint fills mm -hmm. out and stuff, mm -hmm. you know? So yeah, thumbs yeah. up for that if you've ever had, you know, <laughs> that deserves a like just on its own if you've ever had those experiences. Put that in the comments. What's yeah. your worst Leo Palace experience? <laughs> so maybe we can make a video out of those comments. I, I've heard some. I've heard some horror stories, right? man. So yeah, that was like super easy. I just went to a, went to like a um, furniture store or whatever, electronic store. Bought this, delivered on the same day. Uh, got it. Got the guy come around and everything. He he set all the set all of the the water in motion for me, and now it's literally a plug and play. That's super easy. Yeah, man. And the so, cost of the place, like, so quickly is cheaper than even the fact that you had to, uh, had the option furnish to rent, that. I, I had the option to rent appliances. Oh, really? I, yeah, I figured it. Like, the, the company that I'm with for this apartment, they were like, oh, like, you want to rent TV or, like, washer dryer and stuff. And it was, like, 10,000 yen a month, 100 bucks a month. But I was like, well, I paid it off in two months then. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so... Yeah, cool. I would suggest if you're moving in Japan, like, bring money. <laughs> <laughs> so we gotta point out this, this here. Tell them about this, this what? anecdote. This, this, not, not the Kleenex box, the, uh, <laughs> the <laughs> yeah, other thing. Yeah, it's not. It's not my bedroom, so yeah. that's, a, that's a good thing. Here, we'll get down close. Oh, uh, the bonsai. Yeah. Yeah. This is a lovely birthday present from my from my girlfriend. She bought me like a uh, uh, like a Japanese ume or plum tree. So, oh, is it? It's yeah, ume. It's ume. Yeah, it's a plum tree. Uh, but the leaves haven't, it's too cold for it right now. So they should, if I don't kill it, um, they should begin to grow uh, like around April time. And they'll be really beautiful and red and vibrant. That's apparently. cool. Yeah, it's cool, right? That's really cool. How so, long have you had it? I've had it since my birthday, which was December. So like four months, maybe. Okay. Yeah, had it for about four months. So it mostly doesn't live indoors. It usually lives outside. Because it's better for it to have the sun. 
um, and I'm really lucky that I get like the sun facing from that direction yeah. so it's all really good so yeah it's in here only for like decorative you know yeah. for this video only so, <laughs> but yeah. it is cool man that's yeah. that's a legit legit yeah. little bonsai we'll get in close here see if we can get some focus on it oh there we go yeah there you go gonna probably get some amateur botanist who's gonna tell me it's dying you're but killing it you're killing it <laughs> you're, you're, doing, you're doing everything wrong <laughs> yes and the space heater i love that thing save ah, yourself yeah. a few bucks yeah that's really really good it's like super old as well but it's really good you uh, grabbed that was that secondhand store my friend gave it to me actually oh, yeah so go. it was really good yeah um and it, it, emit, it does emit some heat mm. uh so if you want to save some uh, of the old shekels on your uh on your heater this apartment does only have one heater which is a little bit of a down kind of a down point i would say i don't have the heater in uh in my bedroom which is a pain in the butt but you know i have this space heater and it kind of does the job so mm -hmm. it emits some serious heat so yeah and then over here is like my breakfast bar area thing well if you can call it a breakfast bar i just call it like a slab of a table sticking out of the wall <laughs> i i I don't think it's a breakfast bar. They that said was it, generous. Yeah, they said it was a breakfast bar, but I was like, okay, whatever you say. Uh, <laughs> I don't consider it a breakfast bar. But um, yeah, it's supposedly a breakfast bar. Hey man, I've put my keys so many times there. That is the most convenient right. slab of wood exactly. ever. Exactly. Uh, and then this is like my kitchen area. Um, yeah, got my, got my sink there. Um, I bought myself like a little toaster. Last time I didn't have the toaster. Okay. So I bought myself a toaster to toast breads and uh, pizza, mini pizzas and anything really, scones. And this is a, this is notable, ladies and gentlemen. That is a big ass sink. Yeah, it's pretty big. Like Leo Palace, I swear. Again, yeah. we're just bashing Leo Palace, yeah, but yeah, like definitely. that big. Yeah, and also <laughs> this, this is quite generous area to prepare food. Yeah, you yeah, sure. Japan anyway, in Leo Palace, I remember we had those yeah, there's a little plastic roll on. Right, right. You had to pull out. out. And this, we're just talking about this. You can chop here, right? Say what? There? there. Ah, yeah, on the slab of wood. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. You're doing good. Uh, yeah, I don't. I, I sometimes I do that, but mostly I prepare food here. Right here. Um, and uh, also, it's my drainer thing. I bought that from like a, uh, from, did I buy that from IKEA? So yeah, I recommend like buying yourself one of these really good for draining plates and stuff. It doesn't didn't come with the apartment. Okay. It's just this giant slab of nothing. Uh, I didn't go full baller. I don't cook enough really. So I bought myself like one of those camping single hob heater things. It does the job. I'm never cooking more than one thing on one single hob at one time. Yeah. So it works fine for me. Um, and that uh, was super cheap. Again, if you want to buy one of them, it cost me like 90 bucks. So it's pretty damn cheap, uh, maybe even less actually. I can't really remember. Um, I know it's probably gonna be like, why is it got alcohol near flammable, flammable gas areas? But um, you know, it's I do take that away when I cook, so <laughs> my shivers regal. Uh, so yeah, if you want like one of these, uh, if you want to have these hooked up to your apartment, you have to call someone and they come around and they turn on the gas. So being Japan, it's just like everything is done by like a call, right? So, yeah, then I got my microwave, which is the famous microwave from uh, the Tokyo apartment. It's still here. It's still here, still doing me strong. Twin bird, I've never even heard of that. And then I got my, got my upgraded fridge. I got myself the Panasonic and I got my Oni. I don't really do fridge magnets, but uh, this is a very nice gift. So, uh, from Oita Prefecture. So, it's oh, like really? the Oni from Oita Prefecture. So, it's kind of cool, right? So, I thought I'd keep that. And uh, yeah, I upgraded my fridge. I won't show the contents because there is nothing in there, except for my Hershey rice that I cooked. So yeah, big upgrade on the fridge from last time as well, I think. This is my rocking chair. My rocking chair is really cool. Sit there, sit there, read. Beautiful reading chair, yeah, great very view. Nice. Very, very nice. Um, yeah, and then this is where like the magic happens, I guess my bedroom and you got the i like the I sliding one. doors for it ah, it's yeah. cool yeah uh, so yeah you can kind of gone one of two ways depending on depending on how you want to walk in 
I personally prefer it the other way because the previous tenant, previous tenant had, uh, you know, maybe they have some anger issues or something. They ripped. Oh what? Ripped the uh, this wood off. Oh shit. So I had to like, you know, Japan was a bodge bodge job. All right. So yeah, I don't like looking at that. So that's why I usually oh, have okay. it, I usually have it like slid the other way so I don't have to see it. So, Keeps it hidden. Yeah. So yeah, let's go inside. Again, this hasn't really changed in all honesty since you probably saw it like two years ago. Same bed, <laughs> same curtains. But think of all the new people. That's true. That is true, actually. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ibaraki's a super, super dry prefecture. Yeah. So that's really cool, my humidifier. Oh, you have like a humidifier yeah, there. Smart. So uh, you don't get like the dry throat and stuff. The itchy and, and itchy like the itchy skin and stuff so when i came here i got really itchy skin and i went and bought one of them and that's really good man you got big ass windows in here eh? yeah man it's really 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 good really good uh again i can open this one i have like a bit of privacy here in terms of like the frosted glass mm. again really big on privacy here um and then i really like these big windows again that i can i have got an awesome view um got my little stand mirror like you we might even have the same one i think i think so <laughs> So that's kind of cool. And then uh, I initially, ah, the last time you came here, I didn't have this light fixture. I also bought this light fixture because I was like, upgrades. I, I kind of felt like this didn't give it enough. No. Yeah, so that was really cool. Um, so then here is like, I'm kind of ashamed to show you this one. <laughs> it's all good. This is where, you know, everyone who's clean, they always have like skeletons in their closet, literally. So these are my skeletons. So it's pretty damn dirty in here, but you know, whatever. Hey man. We're all friends here. Exactly. So this is my big walk-in wardrobe. So, but I do use it as a storage space. Right. It's and good. There is reasoning behind the madness in terms of keeping the boxes. You never know when you're going to move. I'm always looking for the next best thing. When I had to move from Tokyo, I actually had to buy boxes. So I was wasting money on buying boxes, you know, like my Bose soundbar, I kept that, I kept my PS4 box, so I can literally just repackage when I'm gonna move again. So there is a little bit of method behind the madness, but yeah, it's, it's pretty damn messy in here, but I've got the space. So it I'm is lucky. spacious, man. Yeah. Look at it, look at this. The spaciousness is off the charts. Yeah. You got, you got more than you know what to do with. Literally, yeah, I keep my Hoover down there, so I do have okay. a Hoover. And I keep my fan here that comes out in the summer. Nice. Uh, I have my my big travel case there for when I go home to England. Um, yeah, and that's basically it, really. That is some serious countryside spaciousness right and there, some man. some serious countryside clutter. So yeah. <laughs> apologies. So I expect to be roasted in the comments, but whatever. So yeah, this is, that's, you know, it's actually one of my favorite, favorite uh, areas. I love the whole walk-in feel so it's chill yeah really really cool and it's big it's big in there and also i found if you go inside and you shut the door you can't get out again what it locks yeah look what i show you i can't open the door there's no way there's no way of me opening the door he was never heard from again seriously yeah i can't open the door so you have to open the door this would be like bandersnatch netflix now it's like do i open the door it's right? the option <laughs> So like literally, I can't open, like. <laughs> so. Okay, that's yeah. kind of funny. Yeah, that's kind of cool. The first time I realized, I was like, oh shit. So, yeah, and this that's that's basically my place. I think you've seen everything, right? Yeah. All right, cool. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks, Dean, for letting me come around no again. Um, the uh, the thing I was thinking of doing now was uh, obviously we're talking a lot about the different costs. And that's useful for people to know. People are always curious, like, what does something like this cost? This being, a, what is it, a 2LDK? 2LDK, yeah. 2LDK, I'm in a 1LDK, something like that. So we'll just hammer through a few of the costs here for yeah, curiosity's definitely. sake. What's rent? Like, uh, what should I say, in yen or dollars? or what Just say yen. yen. Okay, like 50,000 yen. Everybody's got Google, right? Yeah. You guys can Google it. So about, yeah, 50,000 yen. 50,000 yen. Cool. And do you know how many square meters it is? Ah... Uh, I wish I did. It's somewhere around 50. If I mean, it's actually, more, you know it's like 60. I think it's 65. Six, yeah, yeah this, 65. it's big, yeah. 65. Big place, 65. Yeah. Um, what are you paying for like uh, gas per month? 
like what's that? Uh, I'd probably say like just all my utilities in one. Okay, yeah, utilities. Right? Yeah. So like, say like internet separate. So internet's like uh, like five thousand a month, I think. Yeah, it's a pretty good yeah. deal. Pretty SoftBank, good deal. Uh, and then the rest of my utilities, they probably come to like just under Ichiman. Like so, okay. it, just under ten thousand yen a month, maybe. Right. So obviously, gas is dependent on like the the season, right? Yeah. So probably right now, I'm paying a little bit more because mm -hmm. of like, uh, I think this that's, that's gas, right? Um, that I think that would be electricity. Electricity. Oh, okay. So but this guy right here. Yeah. That's so I've been your cooking. Gas, I've been yeah. cooking a lot, so like uh, the gas yeah. fluctuates. I think more yeah. in the winter. Sure, and, and if my, you turn that on, your electricity, my electricity goes up. My electricity also, yeah. yeah. So, but in the winter, I'd probably say it's like, you know, maybe 13,000 yen, maybe. Okay. So it's quite expensive, but that's because I'm, <laughs> I just love having the heat. The heat, yeah, I'm the uh, same way. I'm the same way. But um, in the summer, it goes down a lot. So, okay. So, yeah, yeah, probably closer to that, like, you know, 10,000 yen mark, right I would there. say. Yeah. So there you go, you've got like rent, 50,000 yen, yeah. you've got, say, another um, 10,000 yen on yeah. top for utilities. Yeah. Internet's about 5,000 yen, so yeah. you're looking at about 60, 65? Yeah, For yeah. kind of all your bases covered, yeah. and... I also have a car, so I have like a car parking space, or two, two car oh, okay. parking spaces as well. Yeah. So like car. an extra, I think it's an extra 5,000 yen a month. Okay. I pay on top of my rent, so if you don't have a car, it's 50,000 yen. If yeah. you do have a car, it's like 55,000 yen, so I pay 55 because obviously we need cars, we're in the countryside. Yeah. So yeah, my actual, yeah. my rent's 55, but... Yeah. For people that don't have cars. Yes. So, yeah. Okay, so let's say grand total, eyeballing it like 70,000. Yeah, probably a little bit under. A little so, under that. Yeah, 67 yeah. probably. 67, yeah. something yeah. like that. But there you go. And if you if you watch any other apartment tour videos, you can see, especially as you approach the city, how expensive it is. So it's another thing I like to point out to people where they're like, oh, I want to live in a city, but it's really, really awesome. I've said this in so many other videos where you like we are, it's one line into the city. We don't even actually have any transfers. And no. so you get all this luxurious space and renovated brand new buildings and stuff. And it's like, it's not inconvenient at all. You no. can catch the one line yeah. and you take this really chill trip into the city. So, so, nice. many, so many reasons, maybe not forever, but living in the countryside can be a really appealing thing in the Japan. In the Japan. In the Japan. Uh, in Japan for a number of reasons, it's awesome. Uh, really, I've really enjoyed it. Mm. And yeah, thanks for doing the vid. No problem anytime. Thanks uh, for watching the video. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification if you want to get more like this. I thought this would be a cool throwback kind of video to do since Dean's now upgraded. And uh, that's all for now. Catch you in the next one. Peace.